All right, this is just a quick video of a print coming to a close here. Uh, first, I want to kind of show the kind of close up here that how smooth the corners are and how 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 sharp they are. Okay, all the way around. You can really only see this side, of course, but this is your basic standalone, no frills, classic. Ender 3 printer, the, the workhorse printer that only needs three things to accomplish this job. It needs filament, a working plastic standard extruder right there. That's the original plastic one that came from Creality. It's still in use, 40, well, actually about five years later, still in use. White Bowden tube, not the blue one. There's a reason. All you have to do is look it up, find out why the blue tube isn't as good as the, or the blue tube isn't as good as the white tube. I do, however, since I've been printing ABS, I needed to add this. This is a blue high temp heat break and this little ring right here, this little 3D printed ring right there. Okay, that's so the filament can go all the way through, but the Bowden tube stops right here. Okay, so you get the advantage of the white tube and the advantage of the high temp blue tube in the same place. Easy to change out because this part and this part thread in, pinching, actually securing the blue tube and the ring in place so there's no leakage between here and here. So the rigid filament goes through the white Bowden tube, all the way through the blue tube, and down to the nozzle where it is heated. So anyway, that's what's there. That's right, what's right in this location. The uh, fan blows on the blue tube, keeps it relatively cool. That way the filament itself doesn't uh, turn to a mush and uh, cause a uh, uh, heat creep. Okay, so there it is. That's the print. Uh, you can see there yourself. There's no, there's no brim, no raft, no messy purple glue stick holding it down to the bed. And best of all, as you see here, the best thing of all of this, it's a non-heated bed. I don't have to heat the bed. I never heat the bed because it's just not required. I don't heat the bed or cool the bed or worry about any of that to remove the print. It's just, it's not an issue. So that's a thing of the past. And this is how all my printers, all four of my Ender 3 printers work. Exactly the same way. So while printing on one printer is like printing on them all. So if I do a multi-part print and assemble it, it goes together just like a, a, a well designed kit. And uh, you see here, these are the springs. You probably notice that those are the original springs, not yellow chunks of uh, yellow springs or, or solid chunks of rubber. Those are the original springs when they're used properly. And you can see they're installed and being used properly. So not much more that can be said. This is it. This is how it's printing right now. And this is uh, that brittle uh, filament I showed earlier. This is that yellow, supposedly wet filament. I think the brittleness is not caused by moisture, but more by the, the uh, makeup, the material that the filament is made of. So the brittleness, supposedly the wetness of this filament is of no issue. So the brittleness is not caused by moisture because there's no popping or you don't hear any noise coming out of the nozzle due to heated water uh, vapor, water moisture in the filament. You don't hear that at all. Alright, thanks for watching.